again. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with part two, I hope. And I've got skewers and stuff to rest. It's a little schmutzy. Stuff to rest some paint in that I'm thinking I'm going to probably put my uh, plastic card in if I want. And uh, I'm trying to decide how to make my tree branches. And so this is the picture we're working with. And I've got the nice, clean, yeah, right, <laughs> flat edge of my Princeton Artel Catalyst spatula. And I have a feeling that I might be trying my basting brush. But what I really want to do is take some of this mar 50 amazing marbles. Take the marble bag from the, uh, from the dollar store and cut it open. <laughs> yeah, easier said than done. And I might put some of that into some black paint and see what happens. I may have to cut it unevenly. We'll try it. We, you don't know what's going to happen yet. I don't know what's going to happen yet. I do know one thing is the difference between this deep red color here. That's the dry version of the color, uh, the color, excuse me, the neon folk art. This is the Art Minds. It doesn't come out. This is the Art Minds. Really? I didn't really want that to happen. Anyway, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that because that actually maintained its color integrity, which is pretty neat to find out, in my opinion. So I'm just going to smooth some of that around. And that's going to give me more of that purple color that I had that I like. And I don't mind what's what was there, but. I like this better. So I'm going to use it. I'm just going to spiral it out. And uh, if you notice that my painting looks a little different, I had a bug land in my artwork. And when I tried to fix it, it snowballed into a whole bunch of different things. So um, this is what it is for right now. And I am going to take a look at that picture over there. And hopefully, boy, you know what I really want to do is just is just dip that in and drop it down and see what happens. So let's do that. I left my painting in the sun. It probably wasn't a good idea, but um, I'll let you know. So here goes nothing. Wow. I'm doing it. I got nothing to lose by starting in the corner. Because I was going to black it out down there anyway. So if I get a little weird texture, that's really okay. I can always just decide to come back in with my card, my acetate card, or my actual playing card. I kind of want some blue in there. Is that weird? I the, the Prussian blue is nice and dark. And I'm going to let some of that go over the edge. I'm not going to work real hard at making it perfect because in the original picture it just makes some... Um... Oh look, that works nice. I like that, te that texture. It's good. Between that and the other one... Yeah, it's going to be a while. It could take a long time to do that like that. So why don't I just go ahead and fill in a few spots where my bushes at the bottom of that other picture would be. I can always touch up my edges later with some texture. Seems a shame to cover all that paint, but oh well. I can always make another oceany scene some other time. And the faster we fill this in, the better off we'll be. I like this tree up here. That's noisy. <laughs> I'm just going to keep using my spatula to add texture. It's an abstract picture after all, so we're not going to panic too much about I think I want some more down that way. 
I'm getting somewhere, sort of. I could just put a whole lot of lines in to begin with. And then just come back and add some bodies. Bodies meaning just, you know, shadowed areas. With some of the color showing through in the background. And that's all it was ever meant to do was just show through in the background. Just make some texture. Pounce your spatula or your playing card or your acetate sheet or whatever you've got. And that goes almost all the way up to the top. So I can expand on my, uh, my black area. And I could just keep doing this for the next 20 minutes. And I probably will have to if I want this to turn out something even similar to what I had in the picture. But I'm not minding any of it. And uh, I do want to just stick this in there again. because it makes an excellent texture. It's not perfect, but it, uh, it's pretty good. I don't mind a bit. And I can keep doing that all the way up and over. Yeah, I could probably also, yes, I could probably also put it down with some paint on my spatula. Cool. I like that. That's neat. And it will just keep filling in in a sort of a random pattern. As long as the paint is wet, that's going to work okay. I'm just going to keep layering that. And all I really want is some of that background to color to show through, but not a ton, so it doesn't matter if most of it disappears. And I may have to go back in and add some stuff, little tiny markages, today's non-word. I do have a whole lot of things I want up here, all the way up to to that sky limit. And this goes all the way over here. Let's put one really good tree in there. That's not working too badly. I don't think that that's going to make me unhappy when it's done at all. It's a little risky if you're not brazen like I am. It might feel a little risky, but it's about the texture. It really is. Or in this case, the rhythm <laughs> at the moment. I'd like something that had more lines going across it. And I bet if I look around my studio long enough, I could probably find something. I'm tempted to uh, think that I probably could have found something at Michael's at the art supply store, too. I like all this stuff in here, but I liked what was happening with the texture also. Just using my marble bag. <laughs> that sounds pretty funny. And I'm just trying to capture some of the flavor of that tree that goes over and up and over and up, and over. A lot of bushes. <laughs> it's 
long as the paint is wet until it starts dragging, I'm okay. probably show you guys what this looks like. We got six minutes left, but I suspect I could use all of those minutes to just keep right on. Filling in with texture. It's a little primitive. It's working for me, so. I'm not going to complain. Yeah, because she never complains about anything. Sarcasm. <laughs> Usually I'm complaining about plugged tips. It's my major malfunction. But that's not... Uh, it's not perfect. It's not a perfect imitation. It's not meant to be, so... It's an impression. It's an impression escape. It was already digitally altered anyway, so... I would like it to have a little bit of uh, rhythm, but my paint is getting thick because it's warm out today. And I suppose tomorrow, if I wanted to come back in and do something different with a finer detail, I could find something that would do that. going to do that again. Because it facilitates time. Whoops. And it doesn't matter if it, it's not perfect. And it's supposed to do, it's doing exactly, I see you lizard. Don't you even come over here. Don't you come over. I see you bobbing up and down. I love lizards. They're really cute. I just never want one walking through my artwork, please. I'm just going to keep dipping my marble bag and then maybe tomorrow there will have to be a little bit more in here. There's a lot of thorns on those, those bushes that go all the way up into my sky area. But it's similar in some ways at least. I'm sure this is not the most thrilling episode of any of my videos you've ever seen. Um, I've got stuff coming all the way over here. I just... It just wants to be so random. And the straight things are not... Well, that's random. <laughs> Better to pounce than to pull. I'd like a shorter. You know what? I do have a shorter one. Why don't I use a different length one? It's no it's not much different length, but it's a little different. Oops, that was very thick. Okay, well I'm not gonna worry about that. Because <laughs> there's nothing to be done about it now. I did let my painting dry in the sun. So it's a risk-taking day. It wasn't, the paint is not very thick, I will say that much for it. If I keep rotating the head of this, then I get some multi-directional markings, which is what I really want. 
I'm using up almost all of the black paint that I put in the bottom of my little container. That, those thorns go all the way over there to that sun. So there's no way to finish all of this now. I can't think of what's thinner than what I'm using that would make a thinner line, but I'm sure there's stuff out there. It's just, it would be very time consuming, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not minding that this is, and you guys will have more time than I have when you obviously get to doing something similar if you do so. And my marble bag did save me a fair amount of time, I gotta say. So I guess I should just keep telling you whatever I tell you all the time, which is the longer you watch my videos, the more help you are to assist me because that's the YouTube algorithm will help place my videos someplace more people can see it, see them. There's over 600 of them on the end screens of the last 20 seconds of most of, the, of my videos that I post. I managed to remember to add them to the end screens. There's also a, uh, there's also a website there with stuff I've been doing for a long time uh, that has an Instagram link. There is an Instagram link and a Pinterest link at the bottom of the video, under the video's description where my paint pouring recipe is, etc. And um, if you guys want to join the monthly contest by contributing to the studio, you'll be included. And when I finally announce that, you'll definitely be included. Uh, I have been a little lackadaisical getting to it in April since there have been no uh, donations at all lately, but um, that usually changes once in a while when somebody decides that I'm deserving. <laughs> and I love you guys for that and it's been decided many times in the past. Thank you very much for keeping me painting, all you generous people. And uh, if, if you can't afford to donate to the studio, just know that it's really, really, really helpful and important that you give me a thumbs up if you like what I do. Actually, give me a thumbs up no matter what. <laughs> I have been dying to say that forever because um, you really help me out and it'll keep me working. I'd like to just keep keep painting, although I am craving strongly some abstract expressionist, some large artwork, and I'm very much thinking of changing my studio around, which reminds me I give lessons at the house and I do sell my artwork. So if you're interested in either one of those things, just contact me through YouTube and I'm going to show you what's going on and call this as good as you're going to get for now. And say so this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyards. And I love you guys. Thanks for coming. I hope to see you again. I'm probably going to play with uh, this for a little bit longer, but I think my time has run out. The camera shuts off from the heat and uh, it's got a built-in timer to do so. So... Uh, I'm going to just check my work a little bit and throw a few more black lines in there and it'll look pretty similar to this, but um, thanks for coming. Take care, you guys. Priscilla out. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Priscilla out. Bye for now.